Hi there. In this video, I just wanted to show you how to quickly uh, delete records. Indeed, just clear out uh, a whole feature service if needed. Um, you, you know, rather than using ArcGIS Pro, of course, you can go in there, add the data, and control A or select all, and, and delete them in the attribute table. But you, you could do that in here as well, effectively. Um, I'll just show you a couple of ways of doing that. So let's look at this My Feature Layer which is a hosted feature layer. So this is just a, some simple points I've used in a previous demo. Let's look at the data. So as you can see, this is just on my, I've got five features here. Now I could, let's just show the object ID. Um, so they go from 10 to 14. Uh, I could, um, you know, go into visualization, open it as an edit, um, map view edit, select each one and delete, uh, that sort of thing. Um, but there's some there's some other ways of, of deleting which you may find more more useful and more practical. So you see where you're in here in this overview. If you click on Feature Service here, you'll go into the REST endpoint. So go to the layer of interest. So that's what I'm. That's all it is. It's just layer zero, and that's all the information. In fact, if I just go back to this and just kind of um, sorry, I was in, in the right bit. Uh, just query it you can see I've got this the standard query sort of rest um, endpoint so if I do the good old where one equals one which is always true I'll get everything back so it's just set out fields to star so we can see everything so there's five records and I should get a load of data and there they all are that's all my data so that's the rest endpoint getting to it but as well as query so feature service and zero at the bottom here is also delete features you see so this has got delete features available it's only got delete features available because this feature layer is editable so um, you know you, you you won't have delete or update or add or whatever if it's not editable so make sure you, you've got the edit box checked in the service um, uh, description so if I go to delete features what you can do here is effectively just list the object IDs. So I knew it goes from 10 to 14, so I could do sort of 10, 11, etc. Or why don't we just do 10 and 14, for example, just those two. Do delete. See, it's got success is true. So now when I look at this data list, we'll see there's only three features now. I did 10 and 14. Let's just show the object ID column. And there you go, 10 and 14 have now gone. So I could have, so there I was explicitly um, just going for those object IDs um, or, or I could sort of put them all into a list. Just a quick note back on um, the actual REST API endpoint. Um, if you don't put object IDs in there, you know, as I was sort of showing before, uh, you can put a where clause and, you know, one because one is just everything because that's, you know, um, that's your, your sort of catch all or you know, attribute one is greater than zero and you, you, the rest of it. So you can put a SQL, a um, bit of SQL in there. Um, and, but if you put anything in there and there is a object ID in there, then the object IDs, uh, I think they're actually honored. So um, uh, yeah, the, the, the where clause would be ignored if you've got any object IDs. You can um, do your search, uh, you know, with geometry, just like in, in query. So you can put some JSON construct in there, curly brackets and the stuff, uh, define what it is. Is it just an envelope or whatever that you've got in there? Um, and then you can um, choose the sort of relationship that you want to um, select the records for deletion. You can confirm the special reference. It picks it up by default from your layer, but you might want to override that. You can um, roll back on failure. That's uh, uh, So the idea there is that that the whole let's say you're deleting 20 records all 20 have to uh, be successful in deletion uh, if if 19 are and then the 20th fails for some reason it'll actually roll back it, it'll undo those delete edits so that's what goes on there if you had false it would do the 19 and just sort of leave out the 20th sort of thing so that's what that's what that does uh, you can return uh, the delete results, just, you know, listing the object IDs and stuff. 
uh, asynchronous and synchronous so by default it's you know it's not asynchronous i.e it's firing off a request um, to do the processing delete and send results back um, kind of one wayish really whereas if you async if you um, uh, if, if you're using async you, 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 asynchronous you'll you'll get this idea of uh, two-way comms you know sort of duplex um, sending and returning at the same time so um, typically that's just on false um, so you can certainly go go around that route the, the other way which you may find useful is this idea of uh, sort of housekeeping notebook. You can have a bit of um, uh, no, Python like this, very simple notebook, which just picks up the item ID, which is, uh, if you get an overview, which is that big number there, let's copy, um, and that goes in there. So you get that item um, and you pick up layer zero because that, well, that's the only one I'm interested in that's what's in there and then I just execute a delete features uh, function and there that actually at the moment says we're object equals one um, but that will f that it won't find any um, because there aren't any where object equals one so I could just put clause in there um, and just use one equals one just just like you do in the query to select all and then if I run everything it'll go through and zap the others are now gone. So this could actually be a task. You might run this. Um, be, be careful, of course, and uh, you should always, always be he's giving me a warning here, you know, that I'm, I'm as admin here, so which is a bit risky, but um, and, and it will zap it. So um, make sure you're doing what you want to do. Um, but it's a, it's a good way to clear stuff down, especially if it's something you want to do, I don't know, every Friday at 1 a.m. or something. Um, you want to zap something so you can put it as a task in here and if you really wanted to just do this all the time you go to tasks create task and then specify um, here we go and then you know delete my records and then set when it begins repetition is it weekly sort of thing um, and what time it starts you know sort of one in the morning and it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Maybe it runs every, you know, every um, one in the morning. It's something to clear down. Uh, and you can um, update the kind of results and all the details to to bring back once it's executed. You know what what the result was. Um, so that so it's simply enough to add it as a schedule. But even just as one off as you know as you need, um, it's a good way just to totally clear down a um, feature there. Anyway, I hope you find that useful. It's just a quick um, demo of deleting stuff, but um, it just saves you having to kick off ArcGIS Pro really when you want to delete loads of things, uh, loads of records. So yeah, hope you find it useful. Thanks.